up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here, GuitarJams.com. Super excited for another lesson. Uh, this is actually a style from one of my earliest influences of learning to solo. Uh, I actually remember doing this session with my college band, and uh, we had this kind of, you know, country rockish kind of song, and I went and did my guitar solo, and when I uh, finished the take, uh, my buddy Jono, John O'Manson, who's been a, on this channel, he was like, well, someone's been listening to the Allman Brothers. So, you know, I've, I've got that going for me, which is nice. <laughs> anyway, uh, I've got these Blues Masterclass uh, DVDs. They're going on sale next week. Click the link down there to check them out. I'm going to pick two comments on this video to win that Blues Masterclass set. And, man, I, I appreciate the support so much, you guys. I really do. Uh, but let's zoom in and learn this lick. Here we go. Yeah, keep in mind, this is the G major pentatonic scale. So if G's way up here on the 15th fret, then you have your pinky there for this pentatonic shape. Which is the exact same thing as the E minor pentatonic, except we're playing it with the G notes as the root or the home base of this shape right here. Uh, the, the groove I was playing was G to, uh, G to C. Well, the extension works the same way, so I got the 16th fret on the G string right there, 15 on the B, 17 on the B, 15, 17 on the high E. So the, the concept I'm going to teach you uh, in this lesson is going to be right here in this little, this little box, 16, 15, 17, 15, 17. You could bend this up. That's the root though, right there, the 15th of the high E. Here's the concept, and, and you can mix and match, thus the term improvise, uh, these little concepts. That's the root right there. Just want to emphasize that. So we've got this. We're going to start right there on the 17 of the B, then go to 16 on the G. Then we're going to 15 on the B. Then a pull off from the 17 to the 15. If you look at my right hand too, what, what it's doing, so so far, So I finally end it on the 16 of the G, then it repeats. Remember to practice that super slow. Okay, so that's the first concept. Here's the next one. So I hit the 15 on the B. And with one pick, and my middle finger here, 16 slid down a whole step and back.
then I go 15 on the B to 16 on the G. Then I'm going to the 17 on the B. And then finally going back to the uh, 16 on the G. And then you can repeat it, so. And the concept, as you saw when I talk about improvising, is this: uh, both licks, you can play little, you know, portions of them, repeat them, reverse them, but use them as a springboard for your own ideas, your own riffs and and uh, concepts, you know, that are on the spot. that so I just kind of repeated one part of it and the other lick I showed you you can just do the first part Also keep in mind that these will work in their minor settings, but the context of this lick was definitely a major vibe all the way. But the, you know those little patterns come straight from the pentatonic shape, so they're going to work when you when you shift that shape into its minor pentatonic. So have fun with that. All right, I hope that was helpful. Uh, two comments to win the Blues Masterclass set. Link down there. You can check it out. Thanks for the support, and we'll see you in another lesson real soon. Take care, you guys. See you later.